Guys, I was thinking about maybe getting a dog. But here's the problem with dogs. They're like too expensive now. There's like diamond encrusted collars, Louis Vuitton bags to carry them around in. Doggy day spas. I can't afford human grooming, okay? Let alone a full body shiatsu massage for Rover who's probably gonna lick down there the whole entire time. What's next? A little Brazilian bikini wax for Fifi? <laughs> Shoot, boo, I know I got spayed, but I got to look right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to get my sniff on. <laughs> Shoot, mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah. oh, man. But we're raising our dogs to be like these little diva bitches, all right? Seriously, like back in the day, you remember Lassie, right? In the 50s, like Lassie would come barking to Timmy. Row, 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 row. What's wrong, Tim? What's wrong, Lassie? Timmy's stuck in the well. Quick, let's go save him. But now, if Lassie would be recreated, number one, it would not be a collie. It'd be a sh like a Shih Tzu or like something smaller than my pinky and it would start barking off the most ridiculous demands. What is it, girl? Timmy's stuck in the, what? What, what, no, wait, what was that? Someone's in trouble. They don't get you Evian in the next five minutes? Someone needs help? Picking out the dog food, it's not organic? Oh yeah, and that's another thing. Dog food has become the most complicated thing of life. Okay, like before it was like Alpo, pedigree, that's it, right? Now it's like organic ingredients, all natural. New Purina chicken and rice mix, now 15% better tasting. There's a percentage on that, really? <laughs> Okay, so there's either two ways we could come up with that percentage. A, you had a dog, a dog focus group <laughs> moderated by Cesar Millian, the dog whisperer. <laughs> or B, you had a human being taste two samples of dog food and give that a number. <laughs> Yeah, this one's 15% better tasting than this one. <laughs> <laughs>